Do you guys ever have that problem or is it just me? Hello everybody! Welcome to a new video on my channel. This is gonna be a video about books! Yeah! Me spending a lot of money on books. It's just the only thing I never regret buying. Books and food. I never regret buying books or food. This is gonna be a collective book haul from the last couple of months. This is... How many books I've bought? Oh, wait, oh, this is gonna be the thumbnail as well. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's a lot. A couple of months ago, when the stores were open for a little bit, I went to a bookstore for the first time in months and it was like, I could cry. I could cry. I was so happy when I walked in that store. Like, oh, it was so good. And I bought four, four books. These? Are the books that I buy. First of all, we're gonna start with a book that I'm reading right now. That's Aurora. Aurora. Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Christophe. This is an English book. I am on page 412. It's a little bit too high for me. I'm a little too small. Oh! Yeah, this is better. So, hi. A little, uh, Technical difficulties. I'm reading this book right now. I think it's uh, It's hard. There are a lot of characters that there's a lot happening It's hard to keep track and even though I'm almost finished. It's a tough cookie You know every time I pick it up I have to really focus and get into it again And normally I pick up a book and I just start reading and it's, it's easy But it's not really easy, but I still want to know how it ends. I don't want to not finish it. I bought the second the second book as well. I don't know if I want to but to like read this right after, but I'm afraid if I don't, I'll never pick it up again. <sighs> Do you guys ever have that problem or is it just me? It's about a couple of people in space. It's science fiction. It's about people in space. They are a certain squad and they have to fight against I don't even really know what they're fighting against. When I read it, I think I know, but now I have to explain it to you and I, uh, maybe I have to read it again. I don't know if I can. All This Time by Mickey Daltrey and Rakael, Rachel, I don't know, Lippincott. I've read Five Feet Apart. That's one of the few books in my life that actually made me cry, like made me bawl my eyes out. I came inside, my boyfriend was like, weren't you just reading a book? And I was like, yeah, that's why I'm crying. Ah. It was such a beautiful story. So when I saw this book and I saw it was by the same author, I was like, I need it. I don't even know if I read what's on the back. Cal and Kimberly are the perfect couple. At least that's what Cal's always thought. But when Kimberly breaks up with him on the night of their graduation party, Cal's entire word world is turned upside down. Literally. Their car crashes and when Cal wakes up, he has a brain injury. Kimberly is dead. No one in his life could possibly understand until Marley. I think this will be my next read. If you want to know what my next read will be, just follow me on Goodreads. And uh, let's go to the next book. My God, Frankly in Love by David Yoon. Y'all, I love this book. I don't know how quick I've read, I've read this, but it was... I love this book. It's such a nice book. Oh, Frank loves Joy and Joy loves Frank. Frank's parents immigrated from Korea and have pretty much one big rule for Frank. He must date only Korean girls. But Frank has fallen for Brit, who is smart, beautiful and white. His friend Joy Song is in the same boat and so they make a pact. They'll pretend to date each other in order to gain their freedom. Listen, very interesting book, just read it. And when I read this one, I was like, I need to read more books that David Yoon has made. So I bought this book, the super fake love song. This boy Pretends that he's in a rock band to impress a girl. Somebody lies, somebody finds out, all hell breaks loose. Very good book. I think I enjoyed this one better. I think I enjoyed this one better. <laughs> this is a Dutch book. I don't think M.J. Arlich is a Dutch author. He's been writing 
British crime series. I think he's British. This is Wie Niet Weg Is. This is from the Helen Grace series and I've read a couple of the, those books and I really, really enjoyed them. But, but like the last time I've read a book from these series was like a couple of years ago and I was in the bookstore and I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to get into this series again because it was so good. So yeah, there it is. I have it in my collection now. This is beautiful. Mwah. Social Creature by Tara Isabella Burton. I can't remember how I found out about this book, but the cover just made me think of Gossip Girl. It's not on Netflix anymore. It's like my guilty pleasure. I've seen it three times. I'm so sad it's gone. It was my easy thing, you know. If I wanted to relax and not think about anything, I would watch Gossip Girl and everything in the world was great again. I don't know why, but this just made me think about Gossip Girl, so I had to I had to buy it. Lavinia has it all. Lavinia has an apartment on the Upper East Side. Upper East Side, Gossip Girl. Lavinia goes to glittering parties that last from dusk till dawn. Lavinia wants to seize life and live it to the fullest. Lavinia's gonna die soon. Louise knows this. And you know this. What the frick? I don't know what I'm gonna get myself into, but I need to read this book. Nothing Ever Happens Here by Sarah Hager Holt. This cover, it's gorgeous. It's about a trans woman. Will we ever be a normal family again? Izzy's family is under the spotlight when her dad comes out as Danielle, a trans woman. Now, shy Izzy must face her fears, find her voice, confront the bull bullies and stand up for her family. I think LGBTQ plus stories are so, so important for people to read and for people to understand, you know. I saw this on Goodreads, I saw the cover and I fell in love and then I read what it was about and I was like, I need to read that. Oh my God, I really wanna read this. Solitaire by Alice. Oseman saw a lot of things about this writer and I was like I have to check it out for myself So I bought this book Is this a sort of high schooly thing? I don't know, but it really intrigued me so many books so so little time this book I've read in like two days. I think Hendrik Groen is a Dutch writer, but he's internationally known and his books are so funny this is Opgewerkt naar de eindstreep. Het laatste geheime dagboek van Hendrik Groen, 90 jaar. This is his last diary and it's all about the pandemic and how it's been in the... the... He's there and people are scared and he's getting dementia or he has dementia. If you've read the first two books, you should definitely read it. It's so, so good. This is... Zelfs als we zwijgen from Marieke Nijkamp. And Marieke Nijkamp also wrote in Dutch is 54 minuten. But that book is so good. So I saw that she had a new book and I had to buy it. I don't even know what it's about. I don't know. But I have to read it because it's Last one that I've actually read already. It's The Midnight Library by Matt Hag. Matt Hag is someone you should really follow on social media. The way he talks about mental health is, I, uh, I really appreciate him. And this book is so beautiful. It's about, about a woman who wants to attempt suicide and then she comes into a, like a, a world between life and death. And she's in a library and she can go to different versions of how her life could have been. And it's very interesting to see how different scenarios could have turned out. It's a book about hope. You should really check it out. It's really good. I can't really explain it, but you have to read it for yourself. It's really, really, really good. And that's all, folks. What? is the last book you bought. Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any recommendations for me, please send those in as well. I'll be making these videos a lot more in the future because yes, I love K-pop, but I love books as well. I love food as well. And I want to make videos about that as well. So keep an eye out for that and follow me on Goodreads if you want to. Follow me on other social media, it's over here. Other videos of mine are over here and I'll see you next time. Bye!